Okay, so I'm first going to just demonstrate what happens if we do not have the proper geoid model referenced on our Trimble Business Center computer. So I'm going to fire up the Trimble Business Center uh, new project and import the job file from the field. So I'm going to go new project. I'm just going to use the default US survey foot template and then I'm going to find the job file from the field. In the field they It'll actually tell you here. So as I import this job file into the TBC project, it's going to say the geoid model GO3US underscore MN could not be found in the database. So that's the one that they referenced in the field. You'll notice if I look at my drop down, I do not see a geoid O3US MN anywhere. Okay. I see a geoid O3 CONUS. But that's not the same. I see a geoid 03 WGS84. That's not the same. That WGS84 one is actually a customized one, which is where we're going here in a little bit. Um, we're going to make one for our Trimble Business Center database. Okay? So that's the deal. That's the issue that we're running into. So I'm going to cancel this import. Um, and I'm going to close this Trimble Business Center project. Okay, so where to go from here? What I'm going to do is send you over a, a geoid file. Okay, that geoid file will be called uh, G. Well, let's see here, where is it? GO3USMN. I'm just going to move that to my desktop here for now. So I'm going to send that over in an email. GO3 us underscore mn dot ggf. We're going to add that to our coordinate system database. So, step one. On your Trimble Business Center machine, you're going to open up the coordinate system manager. So, we'll just hit the start button. Coordinate system manager is what you're looking for. So, this program you're going to launch. This program is going to show you all the coordinate systems, datums, everything, including geoid models that are currently loaded in that database. Okay. So what we're going to do is create a custom geoid model here for this database using this GO3USMNGGF file. So first, we need to place this GGF file in the correct folder. You'll note that under this Tools dropdown, Options, it tells you exactly where it wants to look for all your files. So this is where we need to go. C Program Data Trimble Geodata. So I'm going to copy that. Hit Cancel there. Open up Windows Explorer and go to that folder location. Okay. So if you didn't copy and paste it in there like I did, you just go to C Drive program data which is a hidden folder so you need to make sure your hidden files and folders is, en is enabled which you can do if you're winning, running Windows 7 under organize folder and search options view show hidden files folders and drives just make sure that's enabled hit OK you should see program data if you're running Windows 10 you'll see a view tab up at the top and then a, a few check boxes right about here that'll say view hidden files folders so once we get to program data we're gonna go to Trimble and then we're gonna see geodata this is where all your geoid files are stored so we need to copy and paste this geoid file into this location so I'm going to make a copy of this geoid file from my desktop and paste it in this drive. So now I should see GO3 USMN geoid file located in my geodata folder. So that's first step. Now we go back into coordinate system manager. We click on geoid models and we'll right click anywhere in the white space to hit the add button. Here we're going to type in GO3US underscore MN, all in caps. 
and that's not an O, that's an that's a zero. G03 US underscore MN. And then from the file name drop down, we're going to look for G03 US underscore MN dot GGF. Okay? You have to name it exactly the same for the name and export name, and then choose the proper geoid file name. Hit OK. Then you'll see that geoid file, that custom geoid file, located in your list. Make sure you hit save and then close. Now we're going to test this out by opening up TBC again. We're going to do a new project. So file, new, using that same US survey foot template. Okay. And now we drag and drop the job file into TBC and it found the geoid file that time now your data should import properly we'll look at point 1000 here and looking at the properties there we got 1609.299 exactly how it was displayed out in the field